What happened to your toy? A giant gorilla came in my room and broke it. She ate too much. Her airplane crashed into it. At Tonka, every toy we build is built not to break, so your kid can use his imagination playing with the toy instead of making excuses for it. Teresa, what happened to this dollhouse? Nothing. A toy shouldn't break just because a kid plays with it. Today, all sorts of toys are being made that don't need kids. The toy plays by itself. If the kid would like, he can watch. At Tonka, we make toys quite different than this. Every one of our toys is made to let a child use his imagination, to keep him involved. You see, we've learned that when a toy doesn't need a kid, in a very short time, the kid doesn't need the toy. In 1971, we received a letter telling us that a family in America drove a disabled VW 14 miles on a toy. The toy was a Tonka truck. What you are seeing is our interpretation of that actual event. Tonka toys cost from two pounds, and you can buy your children any one of them for Christmas, knowing it won't be broken by New Year. Last year, the Tonka Toy Company ran a commercial to parents about broken toys. In it, children told their parents how their toys got broken. One said, an elephant stepped on it. We wondered what would happen if an elephant stepped on a Tonka toy. A toy shouldn't break just because a child plays with it. Detroit, move over. Make room for Mound, Minnesota, the trucking capital of the world, where scores of dedicated workers supply the nation's trucking needs. With incredibly rugged trucks that come in all kinds of models and go for all kinds of prices, which is why, year after year, more people buy Tonka trucks than any other truck in the world. This is for anybody who saw the Tonka Toy Elephant commercial and didn't believe it. All in all, we filmed 30 identical trucks, and each of them held up for the camera. So the hard part wasn't to get the toy to stand up under the elephant. It was to get the elephant to stand up on the toy.